Hey there, guys. What do you think of the saying? Well, I want to welcome you to another edition of Chalking with Baby Cakes. I'm going to try something new here today um, in how I record this. So I'm going to do a couple of different videos because I want to show you from the beginning until the end of what it's like when I make my own silkscreen stencil to when I'm using it to make uh, the d make whatever it is I'm going to make. So this is, that's what I do. I drink and I know things. And if I have any Game of Thrones fans out there, you know where this is coming from, right? Well, the whole reason I bought this, this uh, SVG off of Etsy, um, and I'm not selling the stuff that I'm making with this. So before anybody gets all up in arms, I am not selling this. I am making this for a couple of uh, coworkers of mine to uh, as a little gag gift, if you will. A couple of t-shirts as a little gag gift. So, as you see, I have everything pulled up and ready to print. And what I'll be doing is I'll be printing it on this, it is called the Inkjet Printer Film. So I'm gonna put this right here. You can see right through it, right? It's got a side that's kind of I don't know it's got some grit to it and then a very smooth side and when you print on this you want to print on the gritty side so I'm going to go ahead and press the print button and hopefully my printer set up right so it will work and there it goes over to the printer and I don't hear it moving <laughs> Ew, there it goes so now it's printing so what I want to tell you is this is how I make my own silkscreen stencils, is through Icon Art. So if you're ever interested in making your own silkscreen stencils, you can get a Icon Art Smart Screen Stencil Maker, and um, you get it at IconArtStencil.com, and if you use the codes BABYCAKESCREATIONS1, you will get a 15% discount. Now, I am an affiliate with them, so yes, I will get some money off of your purchase. So this is printing out. Oh gosh darn it. Somehow there was, oh, I'm gonna have to print it again guys. It decided to print from a, from the wrong tray, which that's fine. I can just come in here and do the print again. Make sure everything's set up the way it's supposed to be. I'm changing the paper type to a, I'm doing it to a semi, semi gloss. And I'm going to print it again and let's see what happens. Now, so it did print, although it printed on a piece of paper. So I'm going to show you how it printed out on my piece of paper. See? So it printed out just fine, but that's not what I want it to be on, obviously. set up to automatically default to my rear printer which is why it's giving me a little bit of a hassle so as you see technical difficulties are everywhere so hopefully that starts printing here pretty soon now once that's all done printing what I'm gonna do and you'll notice it's a little bit darker in here it doesn't look like it it's a little darker in here than normal um, I have the lights off because you need, I'm hoping this prints the right way. Okay, so you need a printer or you need it to be darker to do the, um, gosh, now I can't remember. See, that's got me all kinds of messed up right now. So you need to have it darker in the room when you're trying to do your exposure. Now I have like, a, there's this photo sensitive film and that's what I will be using once this prints out correctly. And hopefully I got it printed out correctly. If not, I'll be printing it again. Nope, I got it on the correct. 
correct side. So it's almost done printing. So what I'll do is I'm going to move you over to the actual exposure machine. And you have to expose for 30, for 45 seconds. And then, ooh, great. So you expose it for 45 seconds. And then after that, what we'll do is we'll take it upstairs and we will get it running underwater. So I'm gonna move you and you can see my beautiful, beautiful area over here. So here it is, it printed out on the correct side Yes, I have a couple of other Game of Thrones things in here that was given to me. All right. In case you didn't see that, my daughter bought me that, that for me. All right, guys. This room's messy. I need to clean it. So what I'm going to take is I'm going to take my Icon Art photosensitive film, and I place that down first. Now, like I said, you want to have the room darker you want to have the room dark because if it's not dark then you run the chance of overexposing your photosensitive film so that's why you want it dark so what I'm doing is I'm layering this so this is my my icon art maker the exposure thing so you put your film down and then you put your this the uh, gosh now I can't the printer film and then you put this sheet of just plastic down over it and that's to help keep the glare off of it and you want to get this kind of try to center it up pretty good and then, like I said you're gonna let it go for 45 seconds 30 to 45 seconds I typically do I think I do about 40 seconds and so there's no on off button on this on this so what I do is I go ahead and I have it plugged into a power strip and let it um, turn it on and off that way because there is no on off button so here we go Now it doesn't look like it's really doing much, does it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because it's been the allotted amount of time. And I am gonna remove this. Remove all that and put this on. Now you'll note, you'll see that there is a shiny side and the photosensitive side. So you wanna do everything on with the shiny side down. I'm going to flip this over because I have to take it upstairs to go ahead and do the uh, get the silk screen portion of it off or get the emulsion portion of it off. So I'm going to pause this and take you upstairs well uh, to my sink. Okay guys, I brought you upstairs and you can see it's kind of bright up here. It's not as as a uh, as dark as I would like it to be. I'm gonna get the water a little warm and then because I want this, you're gonna to need to have it, you can do it a couple of different ways. So my sprayer has an actual very uh, heavy jet spray, which is the best way to do this. Or if you need, you can also use a little toothbrush, a very soft sided toothbrush. Now, I don't know, let me put it over this way. You can see this is all ready, starting to come off. So I hope you can see that. Because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> so if you see, so typically I would have this a little bit darker in here. And one of the things I have learned as I've been doing these is you definitely want these to be all black. 
you want your, when you print out your, on your printer film, you want it to be all black because if it is not all black and a black black, if it's a pink color or a gray color, you're not going to get this same type of quality in getting it off. There is also a sprayer you can buy that you can attach to a hose that will help give you a better, um, give you more PSI um, to get this the emulsion paper off of there. But now can you see that dagger coming through? Once I'm all done with this, you'll be able to, once I'm all done with this, I'll have to let it dry for a couple hours and then I'll go ahead and I will re-put it under the, the blue light there. Because I can't think for some odd reason what it's called. I'll re-expose it. And that helps make your stencil last longer. These are reusable silkscreen stencils. They are not sticky like the other stencils I make. But they can be used just the same way. You just have to be careful and hold them or take them down. Alright guys, and that is all there is to getting everything off of there. So, there we go. Now I'll let this dry for a couple hours and then I will uh, take you back to uh, <laughs> why can't I think guys? I'll take you back and we'll uh, go ahead and put it all under the light again. Alright guys.